And what's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi. And, um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, episode 26, The Mizukage Successor, is the title of this week's Boruto Naruto Next Generations episode. And looking at last week, last week was actually pretty good for those that forgot already. We had a pretty good episode. I was calling a filler feeling at the beginning, but towards the end, it was picking up and the pacing was oh so sweet. And it looks like from reading some of your guys' comments, it looks like the one character that had the Kisame looking teeth was actually Kisame's son? Well, that is still remain to be seen or to okay let's get right into it it's probably gonna be the mizukage oh that's the old one that's the former mizukage see she got a little big but she she slim thick yeah she all right actually some her face yeah i don't know maybe it's just that angle damn she still she got the freaking cutting from street fighter 5 laugh damn she only needed one hand it's a big ass office for no freaking reason. Yeah, that's him. So I'm definitely convinced. I mean, this is like old news, but I'm definitely convinced if you got shark edged teeth, you were definitely a former or part of the Seven Swordsmen. That's just how that goes. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, how come? How come the old, the former Mizukage could keep a good shape? Anko just let herself go completely. <sighs> so sad. All right, guys, just like every week, we got to sing along to this part of the drop. Here it comes. I get to learn the lyrics in Japanese, yo. Someone sent me the lyrics. Preferably in my Discord. Oh, he's about to pass on the... Probably the sword. I'm guessing it's a sword. Damn, those look kind of cool. Ka Kagura Karatachi. I called his last name, like, last second. So he definitely not a, well, no, I don't recognize that last name for tied to anybody else, so. Hiramekare. Okay, so yeah, I was right. It was a sword. Yeah, let's go. I love when they give little history lessons. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. So they're, they're trained in the water. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. They, yo, they already got down the fact that they could literally already use the chakra on the water. Now remember, they're seven. They're not 12 like how Naruto started. It took forever to just climb up the damn tree. My man Boruto already walking on water. Not even walking, he's fighting on the water. Keep this in mind, everybody. He's pre is he getting tired already just by standing on the water? Ooh! Man, Kagura say yeet. Ho 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 ho. Kagura's like, did I do that? He had an Urkel moment. I feel like Kagura, he has like this inner killer intent when he fights, and he don't, he don't, he don't like to reveal that. I guess he might be like ashamed of it in a sense. Damn, that John look good. Yeah, Japan always got some good meat Johns on a stick. Wait, what? I'm just pretending to say that. <laughs> take the damn, take the food. That's what. Take the food. Take the food. Oh, wow. I wonder who they're paying respects to. Wait a minute. Did y'all see that that technique? The water bubble, John? That was a Kisame technique. Wow. So his grandpa fought the original fourth Mizukage. Man, these dudes are about to start trouble. Boy. Oh, Iwabe socked him. Damn, he made him look like a punk. Yo, this guy... I bet you he was he was originally trying to be the successor to be next in line to be the next Mizukage and that's why he's so tight at Kagura and that's why they got some beef going on. Why the hell they let him why they let Denki go out alone by himself at night? <gasps> Damn, it got real real fast. Wow, so they're going to leave the episode with that? I'm not gonna lie, this arc is pretty badass. They're freaking, they're really pushing the bar here. This is very neat to see, I will say. I'm actually very impressed with the direction of what this is going with. But that is my prediction as far as the proclaimed son of Kisame, because I forget his name, but 
the Hoshikage dude, or that's what his last name actually is. I don't know if anyone actually found that out to be a fact, or if that's just their thoughts. I mean, it would make sense. It's kind of dope that it would be that way, but my prediction stands is that he is tight at Kagura because Kagura is next in line to become Mizukage basically because he's a successor, blah, blah, blah. And he is was trying to do that. So that would make sense as to why he still recognizes his own village as the Blood Mist when no one else really does. They all, all talk about it in passive terms. But as far as this episode goes, man, very good. Very well done. I'm liking the direction. I'm liking everything about this right here so i'm looking forward to this preview for next week and the coming weeks because this john actually is keeping me interested and distracted away from just saying the same old man i'm looking forward to when they go to the movie i'm looking forward to when they go after the movie because we want to see what happens then but let's stick to the preview okay Yo. <laughs> hey. Oh. It seemed like if you didn't notice, I peeped. Kagura has some chakra string type jutsu going on. And I was almost about to make a reference to Kankuro, but that he's not even from the Blood Mist village. He's actually from the Sand Village, so I'm not really sure how that's going to play out. But I, you know, obviously we don't know all his full extent of all the jutsus that he can do. But it definitely looks like next week is going to be action packed. It's going to be a big old fight going on to basically reclaim Denki. And most likely we'll see the leader of said group also fight in uh, that situation there. But let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this in the Discord, especially on the Discord. And make sure to be following me on Twitch so you guys can talk to me about this and play more while I play some games. And you support the boy. Support your boy on his Patreon page. And I'll see y'all next time.